Hey guys, happy Saturday. Hope you're all having an amazing weekend. six weeks pregnant exactly to the day um i am simply blown away by all of your comments and just support and love you guys never cease to amaze me um just thank you so much from the bottom of my heart it totally made it feel real once i posted my pregnancy test video and you guys started commenting and just wishing me well and I truly appreciate um, your prayers that means a lot because it is really really early on not many people share pregnancy this soon but I share my daily life online so it'd be something that would be difficult to hide so I wanted to share it with you guys and I will continue to accept your prayers as long as you'll give them so um, oh I, I use this app called pregnancy plus this is what the baby supposedly looks like today and depending on which app you use some say it's like the size of a blueberry but this one says that it's the length of a grain of rice this week next week will be a blueberry who knows um so in case any of you because a lot of you were saying to me that you wanted me to give you pregnancy updates and I'm going to be vlogging like I always do and my health and fitness will be a part of my vlogs like always, my daily life and obviously my pregnancy is a part of my life. So of course I'm going to be updating you about everything and if you were curious about my symptoms, um, like the few days leading up to my expected period and then a week after, I was feeling really pregnant in terms of sore breasts and um, a little bit nauseous when I'd get hungry and stuff like that. This past week, so all of week five, I haven't felt any other pregnancy symptom um, other than tired. And uh, also, I spotted a little bit throughout the week and that was a little bit concerning. But my doctor assured me that it's normal and as long as it's not excessive or accompanied by painful cramps, then you're fine so so far we're good and um but i'll keep an eye on it obviously this is my first pregnancy so i'm nervous about everything um the other thing you guys said is that you want me to film jim's reaction and you want to see that so that pregnancy test that you saw was the second test that i took i had taken one the day before in the morning which was like four days before my expected period but it was like nagging at me to take it. I took it at like five o'clock in the morning and that's when I saw a very faint gray line, which I didn't know if that meant pregnant or not because there was absolutely no color and it was very hard to see. From a glance, you can't see it, but if you squinted and went closer, you could. So what happened at that point was I was just, like I had thought in my mind all of these amazing ways that I was going to surprise Jim when I found out I was pregnant. I wasn't going to just tell him right away. I was going to plan a cute little way to tell him. But it just, that went out the window the second I saw that faint line, the day before you saw that confirmation pregnancy test. And I just busted through the door at 5 o'clock in the morning. And my bathroom is connected to my bedroom. Actually, Jim, come. Because they want to know your reaction. We'll tell them together. We're getting ready to go for a day of errands. Can you fit in here? I'll try. Okay. I'm still too tall, even on my knee. <laughs> okay. So, I busted out the, the bathroom door, and he was sleeping, and he was like, what are you doing? I think you're so, like ready to... Well, I had, I had the covers over my face a little bit to block the light out of my eyes, and Jen comes out, and the door opens, and there's more light. Now I'm like, huh? What, what what are you doing? So I came I try out to like sleep again. white as a ghost. I was just like, my heart was pounding. I'm like, uh, uh, are you ready to be a dad? So I look at her and I'm completely out of it. And I'm like, what What are you talking about? It's He it's, didn't process the word. It's like 4.30 in the morning or something. I'm like. <laughs> <laughs> and then I walked over to like his actual 
side of the bed because this was me just at the door probably terrifying like a horror yeah. movie yeah and so i came over and like i pull the sheets off him and i'm like jim jim are you ready to be a dad? So, so then I, I look up at her and you know the first thing going through my mind is why are you waking me up at 4 30 or 5 like, or and whatever, whatever, whatever it was so I'm, I'm ready to snap and i see this little stick in her hand and i'm like then it started to click, and I'm like, hang on a second, what's going I on here? I don't think it clicked. I think you think it clicked in. It well, didn't, because you're like so lost. Did. So then I was sitting there, and he's like, Jen, what's going on? And I'm like, I'm like, Jim, I I want to surprise you, but you're my best friend, and I need your opinion, and I, I want to <laughs> show you something. And he's and he's like, what are you talking about? I think about? I said to you at one point, are, are you okay, babe? Because I, <laughs> yeah. I thought there was something wrong yeah. with her. Like, why are you panicking at, at so early in the morning? Like, what's going on? And right? then, so he's like, when he's like, what's going on, and he looked concerned, I'm like, I'm like, Jim, I took a pregnancy test. It's really early, but I think I see a line. Do you see something? And That's when I realized, and I sat up, and I'm and I'm looking at it, and, and I'm like, what is, I'm like, I'm like, you're like, I think I, I think I see it. So, if he would have said, no, no, Jen, there's nothing there, then I would have just gone to bed, but he, the fact that he saw that and gray I'm, shadow, I'm blind. <laughs> the fact that he saw that gray shadow that I thought I saw, I felt a little hope. So, basically, that Wednesday morning was me telling him, but we were 50-50. We had no yeah. clue. And... It was really faint, that line. And, it was really faint. And so we sat there. So he was just like, yeah, I think I see something. He was still asleep. I don't think he was processing until, like, we just kind of sat there. And it hit him all of a sudden. And he started, like, crying. He's like, are we pregnant? And then we were, like, hugging and kissing. And what was the best, actually, was then we prayed together. Yeah. Which, yeah. which we never do. Like, we both pray... But we pray individually, generally. We Aww. both... <laughs> pregnancy. We both pray, like, on our own. When, like, before bed, we pray just in our own heads. But we've never really prayed together. And that was really, really special. So, as much as I get sucked that I didn't find a cool way to tell you um, and announce it to you in a fun way, I, I was, felt like I'll I never okay, forget but, that. Yeah, I, I was... I love the way it worked out. I mean, when it finally clicked in for both of us... We both got emotional, and, and I got hung up on, I'm going to be a dad. Well, no, we, I was I was like, no, don't say that, because if it's not, it'll be such a letdown. Wow, well, whatever. Like, like, for me, it was, I I don't, I, I believe that things will work out in the end for the best. I, I, I have that um, optimism in me, and... Uh, I didn't think it was possible, because yeah. I have never, yeah. like, I've never... I thought it was going to take a year, as I said in my last video. So, anyways, we, we were just, we put the test down, we went to bed, and I told him that I would take a next test the next day because it's supposed to get darker. If yeah. if it is, if you are pregnant, it's supposed to get, the HCG level is supposed to rise every 24 to 48 hours. So, he had gone to work the next day on the Thursday, and that's when I took the pregnancy test because I didn't want to, like, get them all excited in, in case it was and I just was gonna say no it's not don't worry about it next month um but it was and then when he came home that day after I filmed that video I showed him the new test and he was like we're pregnant this we're pregnant and that night which was a Thursday night we went to go tell my mom and my mom my mom's like are you sure are you sure because she's like I'm like, trust me, like, we're confident that this line, and you guys saw the line, it was Pretty in your face, like, <laughs> and that also made me excited that it had doubled so, like, so quick, yeah, it was, well, it was a little bit more than 24, it was almost like 36, I don't know, what, but anyways, whatever it was, so that's what it was, and then, like, on the weekend, we continued to tell, like, Jim's parents, my grandparents, and then the word spread through my aunts and uncles and cousins, and then and, the world found out, <laughs> yeah, and then just a few days ago, um, we told you guys, and we are so excited. Uh, obviously nervous. Nervous as shit, actually, because, <laughs> because yeah, with the spotting this week, we both got yeah, a little bit nervous. Yeah. But a, a, a little stressed, I think, because, you know, you, the worst things go through your mind when everything's not 100% all the, the frame, time. In the dude. Sorry. Your ear uh -oh. is important. <laughs> When it's not 100% and, and, you know, you have that stress, but, you know, you got to keep positive and that's what we've been trying to do. Yeah. And, um, you know, the, 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 I think the symptoms have been going away slowly, right? Uh, it, it, I think every single day of our pregnancy is different. Things come, things go. Yeah. I think the, the main thing is like around 3 p.m. I get tired and then around 10 p.m. I get tired. Um, yeah. 
So, we are going to vlog a little bit today. Oh, and I just wanted to say one thing, if you don't mind. Oh, yeah. How are you feeling? Is I'm that feeling what... amazing. Like, I get emotional every single uh, time. I, I even started... get emotional now, but I'm trying to suck it back for the camera, people. But I feel amazing. Like, the idea, Dad, Yeah. Da I, I'm a gamer nerd. Like, I love to play video games and, and watch I think that'll make you a cartoons fun dad. and... Just, you know, go to my work, do my work, come home, have fun, go out with my wife, you can do still stuff do that. like that. I just never like thought it. that I would be able to raise a little bundle of life. Like, to me, that's amazing. Like, I'm, the first yeah, word I, that came to mind was young. elated. Like, yeah. I feel so young. <laughs> and it's we feel, so we awesome. We both feel young, even though we're, like, old AF. But, <laughs> like, <laughs> old, we both feel so old. Well, we're both 30s, in our mid-30s. Um, my leg hurts. <laughs> no, well, we're going to end it now because we're going to go about our day. But, uh, yeah, so a lot of you asked what was his reaction. So that was kind of our thing, kind of he was lost and then shocked and then happy and then we prayed. And and then it was kind of a whirlwind where we didn't really stop to think about how we felt because we were telling everyone. And now I think it's sinking in. Oh, it's it's something good like Yeah, and he's, he's so happy. <laughs> oh, I'm, yeah. I'm more on the nervous side because I... Every time I go to the washroom, I get nervous, right? Um, I know it's a big no-no, but the, the day that Jen told me, um, the, or the morning, I, I, sh I should say, that morning when I went to work. Oh, yeah. I told everybody my work. <laughs> you like, like, you walked in with donuts. Pregnant. Yeah, I, I walked in with like a box of donuts and a bunch of coffee for my for my workmates and whatever. And, and somebody was, actually crazy. yelled at you. A woman was like, yeah. Jim, you're not it's, supposed it's to tell until early. 12 weeks. Yeah, you're not. I'm like, nah. Too bad. <laughs> We're not like that. We share our life. Anyways. So, before this is a hundred years long, because look at that time over there, um, we're going to go, um, something actually so sad is that I found like a little lump on Oliver's back, and I'm hoping it's just like a little benign sister, a little, yeah, or I'm a sure, I'm sure it's going to be. So, we're just going to go to the vet, <laughs> and uh, I'll let you know how that goes. Oliver's been giving us some issues. Lots of barking. Lots no, no, lying. I mean, since Christmas, his little oh. mom issue, now this issue. Ow, my leg. Uh, I'm getting out of the frame because <laughs> my leg hurts. Okay, so we're going to go about our day, and you will come along. See you. Ollie, are you ready? You ready to go see the vet? I think he's excited. It doesn't matter. He just wants to go out. You're going to throw him in the back? I'll put him in the back. Yeah, I'm not going to throw him. <laughs> That's not what I meant. We're here. It seems like Oliver knows. Ollie, why are you freaking out, dude? He's not freaking out. He's probably excited. He's yeah, he's excited. Buddy, just lay down. Just lay down. Stay. 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 Can you hear Papa? Good boy, <laughs> stay. He doesn't want those treats. I know, but it's it's making Because look, they're stay. all over there. Stay. I just want them. Stay. 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 Is this going to lead anywhere? No, I'm just going to keep them here. Oh, okay. Stay up. He doesn't want it. <laughs> Oliver, how do you feel now that you got a thousand shots? How do you feel? Stay on the carpet, dude. How do you feel? Do you feel okay? You look okay. I feel great now. <laughs> okay, so we finished at the vet, and um, the vet said that he wasn't concerned about Oliver's lump. He says that he does not think it's cancer, and it's probably just like a benign cyst or a fat deposit or something, and he just told us to monitor it for the next month, and if it gets bigger, to go in and they'll take like a sample. Oliver's stressed because he's waiting for Jim. Jim had to run into the drugstore. Oliver, relax. Relax, buddy. Relax. He's like, every new person that walks by, he's like... Anyway, so that's really, really good to know. We were really worried that it was cancer because it came out of nowhere. Like, just last week when we were petting him, we noticed that we could feel that lump there. So I'm glad that everything, that the doctor is confident. And then they gave him like all his updated shots, his rabies and all the stuff that he needed for this year. And um, yeah, so we're just going to take him home now actually because he's 
the doctor said that he might feel nauseous or throw up or have diarrhea, like possibly from all the shots. So we're just gonna go, you know, keep him home before we go and do all of our errands. And that's it. So we'll see you guys later. So we're on to our next errand. We have some coconut water. Save some for me. Never. <laughs> um, I also have some almonds, like just raw almonds and some grapes. And who went and got those for you? You did. Who's the best husband ever? You are. You said that with a stutter, you lied. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so yeah, this is um, the perfect way because um, some of you have been asking if I already have morning sickness or whatever. I don't, um, like I don't have like daily nausea or I haven't thrown up or anything, but I get like a little wave of nausea if I get really hungry. So I've been on top of it between my breakfast, lunch, and dinner, I'll just um, have about, you know, six to eight almonds and a handful of grapes or whatever, uh, snacks in between, or a little granola bar, something like that. So I haven't felt, since I got on track with that, I haven't felt any I had nausea. some sympathy nausea the other day. I know. Honestly, Jim's been having more pregnancy symptoms than me. <laughs> this past week, he's been grumpy he he vomited. Yeah. That was rough, man. Just um, out of the blue. I, no. I, I, th I, th I think it's because I took yeah, some, like, vitamin. my vitamins yeah, sometimes, on an empty stomach. Yeah. This bothers me. This is not good for the vlog. Whatever. Okay, so first I think we're trying to, like, we've been trying to look for a headboard for our bed for the longest time. And we can't find the perfect one we want, so we're going to go there first. Um, go to a few stores and then we need to go grocery shopping. Costco is going to be horrible. I don't know. We always go to Costco on the weekend, which is the worst time to go. Well, it's always so busy. I work Monday to Friday. Maybe. I know. We can go in the morning before you go to work. <laughs> Waking up early. Okay, these are the types of headboards we want, but not in our price range. Yeah. Oh, hang on. Hang on nothing, even if it's like There's 20. different prices. For a queen, gym, but there's ones online for like $200, $300, why would yeah, I Yeah, but we don't, because we don't know what the hell we're buying online. Yeah, there, it's not gonna be. Let's just look some more, I'm sure there's more. <laughs> okay, so Aaron's had to stop because I'm starving. So we're going to try this new restaurant. He looks, what, what's wrong? 11 okay, cool. Okay, we got our food. So Jim got a steak, a baked potato, some onions, and what is that? A tomato? A tomato with some chose. That's cute. The portions are small, so it's... It's cute. Depends what you're looking for. I got this little like soup and salad combo. So this is um, a French onion soup. Um, there's a lot of cheese. So there's a French onion soup. And we have a um, house salad with a chicken breast on it and uh, some garlic bread on the side. So there we go. Mama, life had just begun. Howdy. Now we're going to throw it all away. Mama, to do some grocery shopping uh, we, we were gonna go to Costco but oh my gosh like the, no, parking. no parking at all so we came to Walmart this is what we got so far um, have a couple of things of hummus cucumbers pineapple which I'm really excited about some apples we've got celery 
a couple of bags of romaine lettuce, whole wheat tortilla, some country harvest ancient grain bread. What are these guys? Tangerines. Tangerines? Mandarins. Mandarins? Clementines? Possibly. We have a mini watermelon, because you know me and watermelon. Butternut squash. Butter what are you, are you trying to like trying beat to me to it? To okay, butternut squash. I, I think I'm gonna roast this in the oven and then sprinkle some um, Cinnamon. Cinnamon and brown sugar. Brown sugar. <laughs> Banana. Bananas, carrots. Uh, we have some tomatoes, chicken. We just have to get. Um, <laughs> we just it was have on to. Me, so I didn't know what to do with smell. You're so frizzly. So we just have to pick up some cereal and some almond milk. I believe maybe a couple cans of beans or something. But you know what I want? I want Oreos. It's not even a pregnancy craving. It's just a craving. A fat person craving. Because Jim wants some. Is that rude to say fat person? Pleasantly plump craving? Just a pleasantly plump craving. <laughs> okay, let's go. It's happening. I'm hoping to only eat, what are they? Two, so they're 50 calories each. You're hoping to eat only two? No, I'm hoping to eat four. Tonight. Saturday night. This is the cheat meal. I'm gonna get, I'm gonna have a just a normal dinner and have six Oreo cookies. Oh, we went from four to six now? <laughs> By the time we leave the store, it'll be the container. It'll, it's better than pizza. No, it's not. <laughs> pizza, there's some nutrition, there's just sugar. So we're done grocery shopping and we are exhausted. We've gone to so many stores. Um, yeah. I'm done for the night. Indeed. Yeah, we're just gonna go home now. I'm gonna unload groceries and we're probably just gonna get in PJs and watch shows, movies for the rest of the night. Eat Oreos. Jim already, give me one. Jim. Jim. I know, I, I really did. <laughs> he's like, I already, he's like, I want one before we get home, so. I didn't even bite into it, guys. I just threw he it He bit the whole my, thing. Yeah, I just put the entire thing in my mouth. I was like, ah. But you know what? Are you putting it back? It's not as exciting as I thought it would be. I'm going to edit this video and hopefully get it up to you guys tomorrow. And that's it. Hope you enjoyed spending the day with us. If you did, please don't forget to give this video a thumbs up and subscribe for more. And we'll see you soon. Bye. See ya.